So in the main .dot file, we need to make sure that this app is initialized. So for that, we need to add something in here. Let's say Flutter binding and choose the first one, which is the widgets Flutter binding, and say .dot ensure initialized. The second thing to do is in here or above it in here let's say final and initialize a future of firebase up and call it initialization and it will be equal to firebase dot initialize up now actually this Firebase core wasn't really needed before the Flutter 2 implementation but it does make our work easier and the Firebase flexible and your app more smooth. So in here we need to wrap this mod provider by a new widget which is the future. So in here we can just wrap it by a stream and we need to change this to future. So let's say future in here and change this to future and as a future called the initialization. Let's restart our app again and see what will happen. Go to the sign up. Okay, it is working fine, but we may get an error. For that, we need to handle it in here. So let's add an if statement at the top of it. So let's say if snapshot dot connection state equal to connection state dot waiting we need to show a spinner and for that we need to initialize a material app just like we did in here so in here let's say return and in here material app or like this and and as the home let's say a scaffold and as a body, let's say center. As a child in here, let's say circular progress indicator. So this one, like this. Now in here, let's add. Now in here, let's add else. And to check if there any error. So in here, let's say else. And to check if the snapshot has any error. We can check using has error and don't forget to add f statement in here so just like this and if this is the case also we can copy this and show instead of these of this progress indicator a uh, text field let's say error occurred and here only text not text field just like this I will start it now now we have error handling and we can show a spinner while it is being initialized so let's try now to sign up so let's add in here the full name oh I got an overflow error let's fix it now so let's up this column by a single child scroll view save it here it is I will start it better let's go back to the method in here so let's try to sign up let's say howdy let's say test at test.com let's give it password 1 to 6 and let's say sign up and try it. I got an error about the password. Let's check it. So in here the value must be 7. So in here let's add 7.
Okay, so let's go to the sign up page and fill up this form. Let's say in here, Hadi, and in here, test at test.com. Put a password from 1 to 7 and change the phone number. Let's say like this. Now let's sign up. And I got an error. So this error means because we didn't activate the sign up method using an email and password from the Firebase console. So let's go to the browser, go to the Firebase console and open a new tab with the authentication. So in here, and the also and the authentication, press get started and activate this method. Just enable it like this. And now let's try again. So here it is. Actually, here's the ID of the user. Here it is. It's getting printed in here. And now we have a new user with this email and password. Let's try to sign up again. And for sure, I will get an error because, as I said, the email address is already in use by another account. And this is proof that an email is created. Let's go back to the browser and go to the users. So in here, here's the test email that we use to sign up. It's being added in the users tab and the authentication. Now in the next video, we will handle the errors. So stay tuned.